It is no secret that Trippy Red dropped a top three album of the year with a love letter to you five. I've gotten a full weekend of listening to this album. I don't even know how many times, probably 10 to 15 times I've played this album front to back. As usual, we have the track list in order. We're going to go ahead and uh, start with the first song, Take Me Away. This is featuring Corbin. I want to put this in God tier. I don't know if it's in there for me. It's really, really close. I'm going to go ahead and put it in A, amazing at the A tier. Corbin at the end was super controversial, which I kind of get because his voice is and the way you know he moves is, is just way different than a lot of other you know artists and singers now i've heard him a couple times listened to a few of his songs i think he's really really dope and so that kind of switch up at the end i think was just unique and he had his own special moment on the song for the rest of the song you know in trippy's part it is just vibes and it's so refreshing to hear trippy back on these guitar type beats and singing again and it was a great opening track take me away is like the name of his tour so it was kind of just the perfect first track on the album i'm gonna get ripped for this one last days probably it's solid I might move it up, you know, depending on where everything else goes. I think the last days was just missing a small piece. Maybe it was just another verse. Maybe we just needed the chorus again. I still think that the beat does most of the work for me when I listen to this song. In terms of Trippy Red's, you know, discography and all of his songs, I think this one sits like around the middle for me. Like I can't overrate this song too much. Now I know it's, you know, one of the more popular ones, and I'm gonna get killed for putting that uh, down at the B tier. I think Thy Motion gonna be a very solid, amazing A tier. This time Trippy kind of, you know, brought those you know beach kind of vibes which is uh, what I was looking for in this project which he did on uh, multiple different songs I was a big fan of that and I think that's something that's gonna be very unique to a love letter to you five that the rest in the series you know don't have and so it was perfect for the end of the summer in August like this I thought on the verses he did a good job of switching up his flow and how you alive this song is really really sad I'm gonna go ahead and put it at S tier that's gonna be the first S tier this is hard to rank S and A I'm not gonna lie I might have to make some changes at the end now for the people who wanted Trippy to go back to his old sound and stuff like that, you got this on How You Alive. I mean, the way he was singing on this, he just absolutely let loose. Just a dark, sad piano song. If you watch the reaction on the channel from a couple days ago to the album, I was super impressed on, you know, Trippy coming back to singing again like this, and I loved his performances on the album. I think Thinking About You, that is gonna be an S tier for me. Some people aren't gonna like that just because, you know, the Ligers bar is, it's really stupid and, and it's a goofy bar. I don't, I'm not defending Trippy. Like, every rapper has that, you know what I'm saying? Like, Travis on Utopia probably said five things way worse than that. I don't know. I just find thinking about you so catchy with that hook. It's just, you know, dragging out that auto tune like that was super catchy, in my opinion. I just think that this song has great replay value in it, as the whole album has great replay value. Um, despite, you know, maybe one bar being, you know, a little out of place, but I think that type of stuff is funny too. Praying for Love is, yeah, that's going to be a god tier. It's simple, just Trippy on acoustic guitar like that trippy's singing was immaculate especially on this first half of the album where he really focused on that this might be the most singing he's ever done on an album i want more you know acoustic trippy songs i want him to expand on this and uh you know give us more of those vibes and i know there is you know other snippets out there lost out of time uh play fair i'm probably even missing some and acoustic songs to me are just cheat codes uh in my opinion so when trippy's you know harmonizing and singing over that i mean that's just that's just automatic that's beautiful reality is uh quite the song right here um does remind me of love sick a lot um when it comes to like the flow and everything but i'm not saying that he you know copied himself or anything like that because this song is also immaculate and i think this is one where you just get trippy singing and crying and just pouring all his emotions out into these songs when it came to his performances his effort level was there compared to some of his other projects like mansion music or whatever kind of just shit thrown together this opening run of songs just keeps getting better you have a feeling with just an amazing chorus it is you know somewhat simple of a song the song would hit on a deeper deeper level if you know him and sky you know didn't have problems right now if trippy didn't cheat the song would have been even way cooler you know them singing about each other on the song uh lots of replay value in this song though sky's verse is absolutely beautiful in fact if i didn't know she was a feature on the song i wouldn't know which female artist this was it almost didn't even sound like her singing was that good and her and trippy together are actually a really good duo now that they have like three songs out together i love this song so much uh, i think that's one that turned out to be really good i'm gonna go god tier s tier i think another uh, a tier is gonna be romance fantasy get kind of the jaw rule type sample in there and then it's just trip singing on a piano ballad like i said he gives all of his emotion on this album
album uh, in this opening run of songs and uh, yeah romantic fantasy again it's kind of short like you don't get too too many lyrics packed in there but trippy makes a complete song i did like what i heard from one of the guys on nfr podcast where uh, he did say that trip um has these emotional lyrics and the lyrics fit and everything but uh, he wanted him to go even a little bit deeper I and mean, i actually do agree with that like some of the stuff trippy says uh fits and it's maybe even surface level sometimes but i do think that trippy could go another even step deeper and make these songs even more personal if he wanted to now the song he executed perfectly in my opinion was i'm mad at me featuring lil wayne this is gonna go s tier god tier trippy went toe to toe with his idol with the goat uh you know the production was kanye influenced trippy was trying to rap like drake and I, i'm not saying that a couple of these songs on the album where he really let his influences shine uh, i'm not gonna act like they're the most original out there um but i thought trippy did really really well i love trippy rapping by the way and uh, i think the the beat was incredible that's one of the best beats all year with the sample thrown in there and those drums and, and yeah that's a god tier song right there there. that's gonna be a song that we're gonna be listening to for many many years next up i have closed doors which is a song that i don't really have too many problems with it actually turned out way better than i thought i will say it was a little bit predictable i knew pretty much how the song was exactly gonna sound and how it was gonna go but roddy rich his verse was cool uh maybe the last couple bars weren't the greatest trippy's chorus is my favorite part on the song i don't think trippy's verse was too too crazy that's probably the weakest verse on the project he does do that nasally flow i don't think this song can be too far away from last days though i do yeah i'm gonna jeez man call me crazy call me a meat writer dude i don't care this is like i said it's one of the best albums this year action that's another a tier for me that's one that i didn't really know if it served a purpose on the track list when i first heard it felt like it was kind of like a closed doors part two like uh, the flows were similar the voice was similar uh, but then i actually found that this was just kind of a catchy little fun song i think a few of these tracks on the album reminded me of like an exclamation mark um but action was one that definitely grew on me left for dead is up next uh, another god tier s tier i think that was an amazing single it is really short a lot of these songs are short the chorus is amazing sampling coming back in there was absolutely amazing i, I know the verse on the track is really short uh, he kind of does use you know a different flow we've never heard before on that part uh again a lot of these songs are very simple it's a very easy listen by the way i love letter to you five like i feel like pretty much anybody can really listen to this and find maybe a couple songs or you know a couple of the styles that they like from trippy i'm gonna put wind at amazing up in a tier kind of weird that my two favorite artists collabed and i just didn't expect it i just i didn't never knew they were gonna make a song like to be honest other than like some old shit that leaked um and i didn't want to right away just be like oh this is the best on the album because Leroy and Trippy are coming together and like obviously I make videos on them. Leroy uh, his part is actually very dark but you know he builds it up perfectly. I didn't realize the first time I heard this how good Trippy's verse really is. It does feel like Trippy is the feature on the song but I like, I'm glad that the beat you know dropped how it did and it picked up for Trippy in his verse. They sound good together. I want more songs from these two. I'm putting Helicopter at solid. That's gonna be the lowest one so far. Now I don't think this song is a skip. The only flaw with this is it maybe it could have been structured a little bit differently because Trippy you know obviously we're listening for trippy we none of us listen to jamaican music like that like let's all be real here like i'm getting put on and this is brand new stuff for me it's in a different language like i fully get that but i do like the little you know dance hall type vibes or little tropical type stuff that trippy was doing on this album i expected that to be on here and i actually think this song's a little catchy you know on the chorus like i said it's not a perfect song by any means but trippy does exactly what he needs to do rapping on his verse it took my breath away i've talked about the song many many times throughout all the trippy videos that is one of my favorite songs this year. I think Sky's hook is incredible. Sky and Trippy are a great duo. 80s and the 90s influence in there. Trippy does, you know, kind of a Tupac type flow on that last verse was good. It's pop rap and it's amazing from Trippy. It's right up my alley. I'm gonna give Flowers a solid. I think that Bryson Tiller actually might have stole the show. I think he might even have saved the song and that's very rare uh, on a Trippy Red song for the feature to carry or save the song. Other artists out there have made songs like this and, and done R&B before but for trippy i think he did exactly what he needed to do either way i just think the course was a little bit weak it is kind of just a slower um kind of just more low-key sad song and it fits well with the album it's not terrible it's not a skip by any means the hate this is an s tier for me that's that you know 
Kanye type production again when it comes to just the type of beat it is and the sampling and everything. You see the influences shine. And again, I don't think Trippy invented a new genre with this album. It's a very simple, easy listen and it goes by very fast. Um, you get all the way to the end of the album here um, with some S tier songs. I'm gonna throw Trip McKnight up there. Great ending to the project. I think the hate was really the the outro to the album. Let's the beat right out. Also, at the end of the hate, his singing is incredible too. I almost wish he just hit that note one more time as the beat cut off. Trip McKnight is a banger at the end. Rage song. I think this was more of a bonus. It's gonna do well. It's kind of like the Grinch of the album, as I said. And uh, yeah, a lot of people are saying Trip McKnight is the only good song in the album, but those are the same people who are saying Trip McKnight, you know, wasn't a classic. They're saying Mansion Music was fucking terrible. How come those people are switching up? You know, like I said, Trippy can never please everybody. That's my tier list right there. I know I have so many God tiers and S tiers, probably the most I've ever had. I, <laughs> I almost wanted to move up a couple, like Take Me Away and Thy Motion. There's a lot of songs in rotation, I'm being honest. Every song on the album is good, in my opinion, and has good you know qualities to it more love letter to you five videos coming soon and of course you know when trippy you know starts getting into another album we're gonna be right here covering it on the channel i have a twitter and instagram go check me out there and i'll catch you guys soon peace